that's what I was built for. It's just in my blood. <laughs> Welcome back to Travel with Tay Tay. I decided to do this video to tell you a little bit about myself and how I became Travel with Tay Tay. So I've, I started my platform based on my travel experiences. I know that um, many times as a young African woman born in America, we may be afraid to travel on our own. Um, but I am a bit of a nomad. Wherever I lay my head, that's my home. And I never want to feel like I'm caged in or in a box. This is my journey, and I just want to experience life and experience as many different cultures as I can. Because I'm a firm believer that if we learn more about each other's cultures, there will be less, less prejudice. So I started Travel with Tay Tay. Um, I have been to, in this on my channel, on my platform, you're going to see different videos in regards to me um, traveling to different countries and traveling to places throughout the United States. I'm one to just get in my car and just drive. Growing up, my family and I, we drove a lot of places. We would get in the car and it was nothing for us to drive four, five, six hours in the car. And it showed me a lot of United States, you know, and my little mind at that time, it showed me a lot of the world. I saw rich people, I saw poor people, I saw a lot of people that looked like me, that were wealthy, they had businesses, they had homes, and I think that is what gave me the urge to travel more. Um, I know that my family and I driving a lot, it exposed me to a lot of things and it took away the fear. Like I said, as an African woman born in America, we may be afraid to travel. We may be afraid to come to the continent. We may be afraid to go to different places by ourselves. But I'm a firm believer that I always have my ancestors and my creator. So I'm never by myself. So that's why I started Travel with Tay Tay. And then, you know, coming here to the Gambia, August um, of next month will be 10 months that I've been here. And it has been an experience. It's been a beautiful, lovely, horrible experience <laughs> all at the same time. But I do know that God has placed people in my path that I have connected with, that I will be friends with and connected with for life. So the Gambia will always be home. Um, this is where I'm starting. This is where I started the foundation, Each One Teach One. Each one teach one dot Africa website is coming soon. Well, it's not a website, it's a page. Um, but it'll have all of the information on there. Like, uh, so let me just tell you a little bit about Each One Teach One. Each One Teach One is broken down into two components. It's the school projects and it's the community projects. Now let's go over the school projects. The school projects is what you all have seen in the videos. We raise money through donators right now. We raise money and for school supplies, for exercise books, for pencils, pens, and erasers. That's what you all saw us doing. We also, once the website is up, we also want to have a component where parents can um, download the application for a student to receive a sponsor. You know, there's a lot of feedback I've been receiving, a lot of comments in regards to how we can go about, how someone can sponsor a child. Now, the government schools are free. It's the private schools that you have to pay. But right now, we want to focus on the government schools. So the government schools are free, aside from school supplies, which are exercise books, you know, basic school supplies, exercise books, pens, pencils, erasers, the book bag, um, and lunch, the uniforms and transportation. Transportation is very important. Some of these children, some of these children get up at before dawn 
they get up and it's still nighttime. You know, they have to get dressed and well, it's still dark outside. I don't want to say it's still nighttime because it's the morning, but it's dark outside. They have to get up early in the morning, travel three, sometimes four hours to get to school. Um, covering a, a, a sponsor covering their school supplies, their uniforms, transportation, and lunch would uh, relieve a lot of stress from the parent and from the child. You know, if the child is doing all this traveling and worry, how can they really learn? Each One Teach One is about education and the community. So it's, like I said, it's funny how it kind of started off and it, 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 just, it just broke off into the school part and the community part. Sorry, I have dogs. Um, <laughs> and they're stubborn. That's the school projects. And then we have the community projects. Now, some of the community projects are going to be ongoing. Some of them are going to have deadlines. For example, when we went to the Saracunda Annex Lower Basic School, we spoke to Mr. Jata, which is the headmaster, and he talked about how the school needed a new roof. Now, we can that will be a project that will have an end date, whether we have a fundraising dinner or some type of fundraising event to raise money to fix that, you know, to fix a specific project. So that pro there are some projects that will um, have a, a, a deadline. And then some projects will um, be ongoing. So we have we want to have workshops. When we say workshops, they may be, you know, some people may think of it as a conference, but it would be like different workshops for teachers, whether they're in the same room with me or they are through Zoom or the computer, where we can have workshops where iron will sharpen iron. There are teachers that have these amazing skills in the classroom that all of us can utilize in our own classrooms, you know, with our own students. So there's teachers' workshops. There are, the workshops will, will vary. It's where someone can come and they can volunteer a certain amount of hours a day throughout their vacation and come and train and, and teach our young men and our young women for free because it's, 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 it's an organization, it's a charitable organization. So we'll raise money for different computers or whatever um, resources are needed to make that project a success. But we will, um, it's free, you know. There, yes, there's universities, yes, there's technical schools, but what about the people that can't afford that? That's what each one teach one is about. Each one teach one is exactly what it says. Each one teach one, you know. It doesn't have to be through payment, you know. We, we, we want to look back, give back. That was one of, that's one of our slogans that we want on our t-shirts. You know, people from the West, we, we, were, we were trained by um, the Caucasian man. So we have skills that we can bring back, even if we don't even know we have these skills. We have skills that we can give back to our brothers and sisters. <laughs> we have skills that we can give back to our brothers and sisters that will help their standard of living. So they would be able to access better jobs. If many people from the West are coming here anyway, and we are creating businesses and creating jobs, we want great customer service skills. Or, you know, we want to give excellent customer service skills. Uh, one of the things that I hear Americans, people from the West, um, Gambians complain about is customer service. So we want to offer a customer service workshop. You know, we know anytime we're in workshops or conferences, they're interactive. We also want to offer money management courses um, to help with budgeting. Because I see my African brothers and sisters around the world, we all spend. We all spend. And we need to be able to understand um, our money and how to budget it. So we can, we can attempt to build generational wealth. We can save, we can open up businesses. But if we spend every penny that we get, it's gonna be hard to try to um, uplift our lives or increase our standard of living. Workshops, where we teach Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access. You know, this would help the employee, the employee get a better position because they have access to 
um, skills that we have from the West. So if there are engineers out there, mechanics, people that do air conditioner repair, um, repair machines, like the, the washing machines, the, 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 the freezers, the refrigerators, those are things that constantly break down. If we have people that are masters in their craft and they want to come and do a workshop, they are teaching their fellow brothers and sisters how to fix things, which is going to create jobs. So each one teach one. We have school projects, we have community projects. These are not all of the projects. These are just a few projects that I wanted to let you know about. Because the workshops can be from A to Z. Zit, how do y'all say Z? Zit. Zit, A to Z. <laughs> but we say A to Z. So there could be different workshops. People know how to do a, a cosmetologist, uh, a makeup artist, a nail technician, different jobs that, or different careers that you feel that you are a master of your craft. We would love to have a workshop with you, you know, to, to, to check out your credentials, but to have a workshop with you so you can share your information and what you know with our brothers and sisters. Connecting us around the world. So that is Each One Teach One. And to raise money for these projects, I don't want to get on camera and ask donators for money. We all love to get dressed real nicely and go out and party. So, one of the things that I'm going to do before I head back to the States is to have a fundraising ball. I got to get to a thousand subscribers first. That is the treat to myself treat myself and have a fundraising ball. And the, this would raise money for the Each One Teach One Charitable Foundation for future projects. And I hope to see Each One Teach One grow into something that is beyond my control. Because um, I, got to the con I came to the continent through a nonprofit organization uh, nine years ago and it's funny how now I am starting my nonprofit organization so it's just a true testament to never giving up on your dreams no matter how crazy they sound no matter how much people tell you you're never gonna do that you know people told me I was never gonna go to Africa and I got over ten thousand dollars worth of scholarship $10,000 in scholarships um, to study abroad in Namibia, Africa. So your journey is your journey. You continue to follow it. And I just pray that each one teach one reaches as many people as it can. That it changes as many lives. I can't change the world, but I can start with one. Thanks for watching. Until next time.